welcome back to my walkthrough of Knights of Fire Battle for Budapest, which is currently on Kickstarter. If you've missed episode one of my walkthrough, then I highly recommend to go back and check it out because in this particular second episode, I really want to speed things up a little bit. So I will not explain any game mechanics in detail unless I have not really showed it to you before. We left the current episode with the start of turn two pretty much with the reinforcement phase and this is what I will totally will do. I only have one card with a reinforcement symbol on it, that's this one here. And yeah, I think I really want to discard it in order to get now two additional insurgents from my supply area up there onto the board. I really want to rescue some more of the civilians. This is really something I did a very poor job during the last episode. So I think I want to send one more insurgent here. This is a fighter. This is an unarmed fighter because it has the stuff symbol, but he's still good enough to help me rescuing the, um, this civilian up there. And my second reinforcement goes into this district here, I believe. You can send reinforcement to a sector that either does not contain a regiment or it does contain one other insurgent. Right now we have an insurgent here, so we are totally fine placing this Molotov guy up there as well. Not sure if it's a good idea, but I think with my first action I want to ambush this regiment up there. So I will reveal this guy here. I have to spend three points. Let's discard this card. This gets deactivated and before I use the ambush successfully I'm allowed to take one of those momentum tokens. Then let's roll for the general. That's three. So we will activate this card. Rally one disabled regiment. We don't have any disabled regiments up there. Then for each previously active they are all. If arrest is possible, unfortunately it is. So this civilian here gets arrested. It doesn't really provide me some prestige point loss by the end of the game, but it still counts for my um, morale loss at the end of this round. So this really does matter, even if it's a zero. So it goes to the killed insurgents, arrested civilians area, and those guys simply move up here into the Morich Circus District 11. This goes here, this card gets discarded. It's getting more and more likely that the 33rd Guards Mechanized Division will get activated. So I think it's a good idea to send this guy away here. So I will play a movement command with this card here. So I have two movement points. This guy goes here. And I think with the remaining movement point, I will send this guy down here to the Coletti Station District number eight. This is already the end of my activation right now. So let's see what the general does. And yes, this was really a good decision because the 33rd gets activated for each active regiment in the sector. Right now that's all of those. We would not do this one. We don't have an arrest and we start with increasing order by the way. So we'd start at 5a in this case. At least this is what I believe. Here is no one to arrest. There is no garrison here. So those guys will now build a garrison. Maybe I shouldn't have moved him. Yeah, okay. Maybe this was stupid. Maybe not. I think the, for now that's okay. That's okay. So this guy is activated or this regiment here. And those guys simply move up here into district number nine, the Killin Barracks. Then we can discard this card. This token goes to the left. So it's 50% chance that this card will get activated next. And it's really important that you read those cards carefully. I was really thinking that the insurgent would get hit first before the garrison, but yeah, I was not really thinking straight again. I could have saved me a moving point or could have moved someone else. But I think it's still not a bad idea to have this guy next to the garrison there. And I think now it's time to activate this guy here. So I will play this card because it's also, they will activate sooner or later as well. So again, I will play the ambush. This guy is revealed. We would flip this mechanized unit here or division. And this gives us yet another momentum token. Let's roll for General Konev. And yeah, we already kind of knew what's going to happen. So let's see what's behind this card. And again, we would activate them. So in the end, it was not a bad idea to move this Molotov guy out of that district of Radio Free Kossuth, I believe. We would rally one regiment. Right now, they are all present there. Then they're all active. We don't have any arrests, if I'm not mistaken. Then for the first one, yeah, we would move this guy to the highest threat adjacent district, which is clearly this one here, because keep in mind, this is the highest threat are those civilians. 
Then we come down here to this regiment. They will, there's no arrest. They will build a garrison. Then we come here again. We will not arrest. We have a garrison already in place, but unfortunately we now have insurgent units present. So they would now inflict damage of one plus one if readiness is four or higher. And unfortunately the readiness is four. So they would now inflict two wounds. Right now both insurgents here are hidden. So I get to choose, but unfortunately Whoever I choose now gets killed because you would basically assign the second wound to the unit that's already wounded. And now I'm thinking of either using, yeah, maybe because he's a stationary one. I think I want to hold on to this one for now. Yeah, let's let's simply kill this poor local here. So he moves to the killed insurgents box according. And I think this is already the end of this card here. So the next time you will definitely see this hidden card activated here, relatively likely. And I think before I do anything else, I want to rescue this civilian here. Now I need to spend three points or so six minus three is three. So I will spend this card here and this gets this civilian to the Austrian border up there as well. And then let's see what comes. <laughs> wow, who, who would have guessed this? We would activate the second guards mechanized division next. So let's see, we are not doing any rallying action, which is cool. And right now we only have one active unit up there, which is cool. And this unit is up here in New Gati Station, pretty much. Arrest is not possible because we have a revealed insurgency, which is cool. There is no garrison presence. So the next thing that those guys will do is to yeah, come up, build a new or place a new garrison. And that's it for this card. This is really cool. But now I'm really curious what's behind this card down there. As I really don't know what's behind the last Konev card, I think I don't want to attack or whatever, ambush any units on the board because they can get rallied and flip back right away. So I think that's not a good idea. So maybe really should rescue this civilian up there. So again, I will spend three points now, six minus three, and look, let's move this guy also to the Austrian border. So in total, we have now five points in that box, and that's not bad to be honest, but right now it's only one unit left. I didn't rescue this guy because I was actually already activating two times the 33rd um, Guards Mechanized Division here. And I'm, let's say, kind of sure that they will not activate again this round. If not, then yeah, this guy is gone too. But the maximum I can do is pretty much six points worth of flat civilians. It's not bad, but it could have been better. Okay, let's see what this last card is. It's the Mobilize card. So first of all, we would increase readiness by one. That's always a bad thing. And then we go to the highest threat district in each sector. And that's pretty easy to be honest. In this sector, that's this one because we have a civilian here. In this sector, that's this district. And here we have this district up there. Next, we will move all regiments towards the selected district. Of course, active regiments. So let's start here, start here. So we can remove this token. Those two guys are still inactive or disabled. This unit is already in the appropriate sector, but down there we really see a hell of a lot of movement towards our, let's say, target sector. And then, as we are in a day round, we would now reckon the district. So those guys now get all revealed and this is really kind of a pity because I cannot use revealed insurgent at least for most of the actions and especially this Molotov cocktail here is really really a pity. But overall not the worst card in the world so I think that's it for General Konev this round. So let's see if I can do something meaningful with my remaining revolutionary cards. I need three movement points. I think I want to move this guy up here this guy will move here to Radio Free Kosovo. He's a revealed guy with his AK-47 symbol, so he can control this garrison. So I will not lose any points because of this garrison. It's under control, pretty much. In order to make this escape here a little bit cheaper later on, I think I will move this barricade guy up there. And I believe those were my three movement points I needed. I will use this guy to ambush one of those units up here. Doesn't really matter, I believe. So let's simply go for this garrison up here. And this gives me yet another momentum token. So overall, I'm at four already. 
And with my last card and with my last action point, I want to reveal this medic here. And this medic can now heal for one operation point this wounded insurgent up there. That's pretty much the end of the round. So let's move into the adjustment phase. Again, we would start with the prestige. I have four momentum tokens, which means Russian prestige goes down by two points. Not too bad. Unfortunately, I don't gain any morale back because I was not able to yeah, disable three garrisons or more. The good thing is I'm also not losing morale for those garrisons because those guys are under control. So right now only one real garrison is here on the board. This is not enough for morale loss. And last but not least, we check for our killed insurgents or arrested civilians. Right now there are three. So pretty much we would then discard down to one car one to one token but for every second token we would still lose one point of morale i think this was way better than the last round then we come to the tactics adjustment step and for every third disabled unit on the board one two three we are now allowed again to remove two cards from the cone f deck and i think i will totally again go for the assault and the probe card seems kind of a bit lame but i think this is really the best bet or the best cards we can remove for the next round then we do some cleanup all those guys will get activated again so they were never disabled i think that's already it and then we can pretty much hide our insurgents i will hide this guy i think i will not hide oh maybe i will let's hide it for now let's hide the medic let's also hide all of those guys up there i think we will not hide this one because he can still help us keep this garrison under control and as we don't have a garrison here i think yeah let's hide all of those guys right away i think that's already it of course all of those momentum tokens gets discarded as well and on top of this we will now remove all but one of those tokens here and i think i will leave one of those green guys here because they're much easier to spot in this area so i can keep it kind under control and the last thing to do would be to move into the next round which is then a night round Okay, let's do one more round, I think. So let's start with a draw phase. So here are our 12 cards. We are still at 19 or higher morale. Then we deal out our Konev cards. We go with the remaining cards from the, from the draw pile. We would shuffle in all the cards from the last round. Keep in mind, we still removed a sold and probe from it. I think this is really still a good idea. And last but not least, this card here. Again, we would reveal the first, the third, third oh, the hunt card and the fifth card here then i'm allowed to reinforce my insurgent and again i want to play a card worth of two again we need this reinforcement icon and i think i want one of those stuff unarmed civilians and i think let's go for another of those molotov guys i guess i will place the molotov guide here and the unarmed fighter goes here to the soviet embassy i believe because i do have a plan for him and what the heck, let's do our first operation right up there. I will not do the defy action. I can play any card. I can play any number of cards. The idea is to really defy the, um, let's say, regiments that are here. There are some certain conditions in order to gain some momentum. First of all, you need a barricade. You need to reveal a guy with the Duff symbol here, which is why I placed this fighter up there. And we also need an active regiment. So pretty much all the conditions are true. And now we get momentum for the value of the card we played, minus one to a maximum of two momentum. So that's why I played this three card here, which pretty much gives us two momentum right from the bat. Awesome stuff. But then it's already General Konev. He will activate the 100th Guards Rifle Division. Rally 1 Disabled Regiment. We don't have that. So all of those guys will now activate. The first guy will simply do an arrest. Not the greatest thing in the world, but it could have been worse. The next one will place a garrison. And the third one... We don't have a barricade here. Yeah, he will simply wound one of our insurgents. Unfortunately, we already have a wounded insurgent here. So this guy is killed right away. This is not really getting bad again. But yeah, let's see how we can cope with that. 
But okay, let's move this token here. Let's discard this card. Then it's back to us. And because we know the second guard's mechanized division will get activated sooner or later this round. It's a phase up Konev card. I think we really want to protect this civilian up there. So let's again, let's ambush. So let's flip this token here. And I think we will go for this garrison here. So this is now disabled because we need this garrison disabled in order to gain some morale back or maybe yeah, pretty much simply to protect us. And that's already our turn. But of course, we will also get a momentum token for that, though we already at three tokens. General Konev will roll his die. That's number two. So let's reveal it right away. That's Occupy. That's a lot of text. Select the highest threat district with an objective icon on the board that has no garrison and has an active regiment present or adjacent to it. Move one adjacent regiment into, if necessary, then place a garrison. So in this case, I believe we will see a garrison created here. That's the highest threat district right now on the board. But unfortunately, we have to repeat the entire Guard card once. Oh no, we forgot this. If there is at least one disabled garrison on the map, rally it. Oh man. Otherwise, repeat the card. No, we can rally a garrison up there. Not really great, but maybe it's better than really bringing a new garrison on the board instead, which is cool. So we can simply discard this Occupy card. Again, we know that the second Guards division will activate now relatively soon. So again, I want to do an ambush. So this guy is slipped and this time I really wanted to go for this um, regiment up there in order to really reduce the amount of damage that we may take. And still we get one additional momentum token for that. Let's discard those cards. Then it's back to General Konev. We will see the hunt again. And I believe this is crap. Select the highest threat district on the map with an active regiment present or adjacent. We would move one unit there. We don't have to because this guy is arrested here right away. This was really bad. I was really thinking of rescuing this before activating the ambush or the Molotov thrower up there in the 13th district. But I was really sure that they would activate first. But yeah, that's how things go. But unfortunately, we have to repeat the entire card once. Again, we would select the highest threat district on the map with an active regiment present or adjacent to that. In this case, that's now this district up there. Arrest is not possible, which is now good because we have two revealed insurgents. If no barricade present right now, there is no barricade present. Ah. Inflict two damage plus one if readiness is four or higher. And oh man, wow, this really blows. So we get three points worth of damage and they will always go for the revealed insurgents first. So this guy is pretty much toast. Sorry to say that. And yeah, the remaining wound has to go to this insurgent up there. Wow. This was also a bad card, but only for the situation. If we would have, let's say, disabled this guy before then, I think we would have been fine. Kind of at least. Ah, man, sucks. Again, I have to say the second division will activate sooner or later. So I think now it's really time to build a barricade up there in district number 13 in order to protect myself. Keep in mind, only one of the cards need to show this symbol here. But of course, I have to reveal um, an insertion that shows the barricade symbol as well. But in this case, I think spending those cards was the best I could do. And then it's back to General Konev. He will now finally activate the second guards make a nice division where they want disabled regiment in the sector if possible yes it is possible so let's flip this guy again but he will not activate for this card here because it clearly says for each previously active regiment in the sector perform the forced first option possible so again we would start here arrest is not possible so we can that if garris if no garrison present there is a garrison present if insurgent units present but no garrison present yeah. With, if we have it here. Otherwise, so we have a barricade here. Otherwise, move to highest threat adjacent district. And in this case, this regiment will simply move up to the Niku Nugati station. And then we will pretty do the same for this regiment up there. Arrest is not possible. We have a revealed insurgent there. The garrison is there, so we can skip that. We have a barricade here, so they would also not do us any harm. In this case, they move to the highest threat adjacent district, like so. The problem now is that the game comes with a nasty 
the no effect rule. If the only effect of a card where moves and or changes in readiness that card is considered as a no effect when that happens one insurgent runs away from the fighting instead you must select one insurgent on the board and return it to the box but at least we are not losing any morale for this and I think in this case we will remove this insurgent in the daily, daily station. Before I do anything more meaningful, I think again I want to do a defy action. So I will spend one point here in order to defy this garrison pretty much. So I want to show this symbol here and keep in mind this AK-47 symbol keeps keep um, means that they keep this garrison under control while they are revealed. So I think overall that may be a good thing. Maybe I really shouldn't have um, hidden him in the first place. But yeah, that's now too late. So this was my action. So let's see what General Konev has in stock for us. And I was so wrong. Oh man, I was really thinking that the 33rd Guards would not activate this round. Right now we do have three active regiments in the sector. Again, we would start in an increasing order. So those guys will now do a hell of a lot of damage. Of course, there's no arrest possible. Yeah we helped this guy escape or was it arrested i think it, no i think we helped him escape um there is a garrison present so in certain units are present but no barricade present so we would inflict one damage plus one if readiness is four or higher right now it's at five of oh, yeah five so yeah this guy is now inflicting two points worth of damage enough to kill this guy doesn't really matter the same is true for this guy will also be killed and with a remaining unit, he would now move to the highest threat adjacent district, which in this case is again the radio free Kossop up here because there are simply more insurgents up there. Again, a very bad card because I was not thinking that this would show up, but yeah, this shows how wrong one can be. So again, overall, we have a hell of a lot of tokens in this space. So this is one morale, two morale, three morale. We would lose right from those tokens here, but we are not done yet because there are still so many activated um, garrisons on the board. Wow. Let's start with an easy move. We will do the defy action again with one point. So we'll reveal this guy here. He shows the AK-47 symbol. So this garrison is under control as well. So far we have three garrisons under control, but there are still one, two, three active out on the board. Then I will spend two movement points to move this guy down here to the Killin barracks. And I think this medic will move up to the new Gati station up there. Yeah, that's the movement. Then we will simply use this card in order to heal this insurgent, which would reveal this medic. Let's also discard this card. And last but not least, we will ambush this garrison with this Molotov cocktail thrower. And this should be at least good enough in order not to lose any additional morale from those revealed or active garrisons on the board but still this was really a terrible turn we were able to get five of those tokens in this turn at least this is something and now we come directly to the um yeah basically final phase of the game so we can trade those tokens in which means the russian player loses one two more points worth of prestige not really worth mentioning at this point in time I don't get any morale back because I only was able to yeah, disable one of those garrisons. Those do not count in my favor, unfortunately. They do not count for the Soviet side, but also not for my side. So they only have two garrisons or active garrisons on the board. So I'm not losing any more points here. But now I'm losing one, two, three points worth of morale. And this now means that I will now only be allowed to draw eight cards as of the next round and this is really devastating let me assure you this this was pretty much it in respect to let's say what's happening here we would now reveal all disabled units on the board right now it's only this garrison i would be allowed to stand up my guys which i will do i think i will leave this guy here those guys they will 
all be hidden that's for sure i believe i will leave this ak-47 guy down where he is let's discard all but one of those tokens here and man i'm really doing bad to be honest and last but not least we will move into the 5th of november our next day round but what's not really a problem, I was not able to disable at least three of his units. So both of those cards will go back right into the discard pile. It's good that they move into the discard pile, but still it's very likely that one of those cards will show up during the next one or two rounds. And wow, this can really hurt us like crazy. Here are our eight cards for the next round. And I think with this, this is really now a very tough um, situation for us. But I think I will end my walkthrough of Knights of Fire at this point in time anyway. I really do hope that I was able to show you most of the stuff that this game offers. It's really a hell of a lot of fun to play it. It's very strategic. You have to do some tactics planning. Of course, there is somewhat of a luck factor in the game, but only in respect to the timing on when which Konev card is getting activated. There is real stuff that you can do in order to mitigate it because you know some of the Konev cards, so you have some intelligence of what he is up to and things like that. So overall, really, really a job well done. Of course, I was not able to show you all of the mechanics, especially from the competitive game, like those headlines cards here, which really makes the life of the Soviet player much tougher, but also way more interesting because you also have some specific, let's say, agendas to fulfill. And this also means I was not able to show you the Soviet tactic cards out there but I'm pretty sure there will be other videos out there which will more or less explain you how the normal competitive mode of the game actually works because it is also really really fun to play it. I really hope you enjoyed my little walkthrough of a Knights of Fire Battle for Budapest. Keep in mind it's still on Kickstarter. Again you will find a link to the campaign in the description of the video and yeah hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and yeah until then bye bye.